Hello, this is Somatra and today we will have a look at what is known as the window or the disjointed candles in candlestick charts. Before we jump into the discussions, subscribe for the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever there is a new video. Also click the like button if you find the video useful. The window, also known as disjointed candles, is one of the more powerful candlestick patterns. A window is the same as a gap in the west. That is, for a rising window, the top of yesterday's upper shadow should be under the low of the today's lower shadow. A falling window means that the low of yesterday's session that is the bottom of the lower shadow is above the top of today's upper shadow. Windows are a good visual clue because they clearly display that the action and market sentiment is so one-sided. The window was a candle tool that is found to work well. Once a trader who used to work at a Japanese bank said that Japanese traders would routinely go to the charts looking for gaps, sometimes even going back years to find one. This reinforces the importance of the windows and it cannot be ignored in the candle technique. Windows are continuation patterns in which the market resumes the trend taken before the continuation pattern emerged. Thus, after a rising window, which is a bullish continuation pattern, the prior uptrend should continue. A falling window has bearish implications since it means the prior trend, in that case down, should resume. There is a saying used in Japan about windows, the reaction will go until the window. In other words, the window should be the limit on a reaction. Thus, for a rising window, reactions that is sell-offs should stop within the window. For a falling window, rebounds that is rallies should stop within the window. When using windows as support and resistance, it should be noted that the price may fall below the bottom of a rising window or rise above the top of a falling window temporarily before prices move back in the direction of the window. A general rule that is useful is that if the price closes through the window, then view the prior trend as being voided. For example, if there are rising window and then the market closes under the bottom of the window, the uptrend can be considered over. Conversely, if there is a falling window, once the bulls close the market above the top of this window, then the bulls have broken the back of the bear market. Based on the discussion, an intra-session move under a rising window or above a falling window is not proof of a break. The consequence of this is that you should wait for the market to close under the bottom of a rising window or above the top of a falling window to confirm that the uptrend is over or that the downtrend has been voided. On a weekly chart, you should wait for a weekly that is a Friday, close under the bottom of the window to say that a window support had been broken. The risk in waiting for a close to confirm the break of a window is that, by the time this happens, the market may be sharply higher or lower than you may have wanted to risk. In this chart it shows that a sell-off from a bearish engulfing pattern held August's rising window as support. The long lower shadow of candle 1 and the tall white real bodu of candle 2 echoed the importance of this support area. Candle 1 pulled under the window on an intraday basis, but by the close, the bulls had managed to push prices above the bottom of the window. This left the uptrend intact. This chart shows that there was a rally that started with the October 5th hammer. The force behind the bulls move was echoed later that month by the rising window and its accompanying high volume. When a window opens via a tall white real body, it has the nickname of a running window based on the fact that the market is running in the direction of the window. The rally from this window hesitated via doji after the tall white candle. The fact that the pullback from this doji held support at 50% of the white body showed the power of the bulls to support the market. Note how, as the market ascended, the midpoint of the tall white candles became support. This chart illustrates how June's dark cloud cover short circuited the prior rally. The sell off from this pattern found a floor at April's window. Other aspects of this chart are interesting. The low of June's price decline was a harami. This harami appeared within the support band, as predicted by the window. This same combination of a harami within the window also emerged in May. Notice how the June rebound from the window stalled at the resistance area set up by the dark cloud cover. A shooting star is potentially bearish, but what if the shooting star session also forms a rising window which is bullish? 
Here, in this chart we can see that such a scenario unfolded as in mid-January. After the shooting star line appeared, the question which arose was whether this was a sell signal as shooting star was an bearish signal. While this was indeed a bearish shooting star, there was another aspect that was perhaps even more important, the rising window. If one wants to sell short, they should wait for the market to close under the bottom of the window to confirm that the uptrend was over. Since the bears could not pull prices under the window, a short sale was unwarranted. After the next session's rally, those who wanted to sell short, undertook the importance. This chart demonstrates a critical concept sometimes forgotten, even by practitioners of the candle charts. Namely, that an individual candle pattern should be viewed in the context of the surrounding technical picture. In this example, a shooting star viewed in isolation, that is, by not looking at the window preceding it could have caused a poorly positioned trade. This chart is referred as saved by the light of the candles. This because the chart is an example of how candles can help avoid a bad trade. In mid-March, the market closed above a major resistance line that went back to December 1991. Only the last part is shown on this chart. This breakout action could have been viewed as potentially bullish. However, there was still a lack of confirmation based on the candles. Specifically, there was an open window in early March that was yet unclosed. Based on candle principles, until the market closes above the top of the window, the trend was still down. Observe that, in spite of the breakout from the resistance line, the bulls could not push the market high enough to close above the top of the window. So although a resistance line was pierced, those who knew about the candles were kept from going prematurely long. The window can be used as a potent confirmatory mechanism. If there is a reversal signal followed by a window in the same direction, traders should be more confident of a price reversal. Here is an example of this aspect. There was a bearish engulfing pattern in May. Prices descended slightly, and then moved up to reach new highs in early July. At this time, another bearish engulfing pattern appeared. However, unlike May's bearish engulfing pattern, July's was followed by a falling window or gap. This window served to reinforce that a top had been put in place. In this chart see how candles can help in giving a quick understanding of market's health or illness. In this case, there was a stock with some bullish news and immediately after this news, the stock soared to a new high which is pointed out by an arrow. There were some ominous signs that appeared in spite of this bullish news. First was the fact that the day the market moved to a new high, it finished the session by closing under the prior day's close. This formed a dark cloud cover. The other problem was more significant. A market which fails to hold the highs on supposedly bullish new is a dangerous market to be long. A stock price is composed of the total of all information, whether the information is known by the general public or by a select few. Many shares of this stock were held by relatively few people. This failure to hold the new highs probably meant that they knew something the general public did not. They may have taken the opportunity to sell into the rally. Of course, there is always a chance of recovery to the new highs. But, after the falling window, it is advised that until the market closes above the top of the window, the market was in a downtrend. This window became the resistance as shown by the dual shooting stars. Notice that in August, another falling window opened. Some Japanese traders believe that if a window is not filled within three sessions, it is confirmation that the market should move in the direction of the window. That is, if there is a falling window that is not filled within three sessions, the market action is viewed as confirming that prices should move lower. If a window is not filled within three sessions, then there is power to go 13 more sessions in the direction of the gap. The last part is not always true but it always pays to use the windows as supports and resistances. Here you can see a falling window that opened in early March. Based on the above discussion, a method to trade with this window could be to wait three sessions and see if within that time the market can close above the top of the window. If the bulls cannot push prices above the top of the window on closing basis, candle theory states that this should increase the chance that the downtrend will continue. 
After all, the bulls had three sessions to move prices through the window and failed to do so. In this example, we see how the falling window acted as resistance as the bulls tried in the third session to unsuccessfully push prices above the window. Attempts in May at this window's resistance level via a dark cloud cover and then a long upper shadow candle a few sessions later. The Japanese place much importance on the number three in their culture, and this has spilled into their technical analysis. Thus, look closely at what happens when you get a window in your market. You may find that if the window is not filled in within two, four, or even five sessions, rather than the more traditional three sessions, it could be proof of continuation of the trend predicted by the window.